Hello YouTubers, this is Ages back again and um, sorry I took too long after my Saint Lisa video to upload um, the work visa uh, videos because um, it has been changed so much um, so from my time till now the regulations and the rules have changed so much the forms have been changed so I just wanted to become sure that I'm not uploading any wrong information for you or guiding you towards the wrong direction so I took a couple of days off took my own time to upload a video and now today after finishing the stint visa video today we will be um, talking about the post study open work visa so um, so before we start um, as just a quick recap um, so there are two um, so there's a temporary work visa so one is an open work visa so that open means that you can work for any employer um, employer supported that you stick to the specific employer and um, so the most common ones, um, the open work visas, um, uh, they have four type of ones. There's a working holiday, post study, student visa, and a partner um, of, of a student or a skilled or a New Zealander or anything. Um, so, um, so this video is all about the post study open work visa. So if a student studies here in New Zealand, um, how he can get this visa after his qualification. A uh, quick snapshot of employer supported visas can be divided into four types: essential skills, post study employer supported visa, work to residence and specific work purposes. Um, who haven't seen my video, um, the types of visas in New Zealand, um, so I'll give you a description uh, in my description box. You can check out that video. That video tells you about all the visas in New Zealand and and what they are a quick snapshot so you can know which uh, what work we uh, visas or student visas or visitor visas are available in New Zealand and what sort of uh, visas are there in New Zealand so just um, quick in, uh, getting on to the topic so so um, why I have written the post study employer supported work visa discontinued is that um, there were so many complaints that Immigration New Zealand was receiving on um, from from the employer side and employee side that um, the discrimination happening to the foreign worker and um, and lots of uh, other disputes that were going around with this type of work visa. So one of the common situation that or um, that headlines um, was published in one of the news is that the employers are taking money or the paying under the table or paying them as minimum as the possible to get the worker to work for them and that's why um, New Zealand immigration um, discontinued this visa instead of this visa they have increased the tenure of um, the post study open work visa or post study work visa um, the new name of it so uh, what used to happen is that in the old back back in the days that once you complete your qualification you were issued a one-year post study open work visa and then if you find a job in that uh, in that one year you, uh, you can apply for a post study employer supported work visa for this um, you didn't need needed a labor market test so that that visa was for two years so one plus two three years so these days um, the government has taken steps on 8th of august 2018 and made um, one work visa that is post study open work visa and that the tenure maximum tenure for this um, visa would be for three years it will depend upon your qualification so so first to start uh, what is an open work visa or how to get that visa so once you you finish a qualification that is registered from a registered NZQA provider you can be eligible 
for this work visa I'm start I'm taking this work visa from the start so if my audience don't know about this visa or they had never heard about this visa um, they know now so I'm giving them a full snapshot of this work visa I'm not rushing into it and anything like that so I'll be going into a really detailed um, a video uh, in this um, for you so what are those acceptable qualification so level four five six is acceptable qualification um, in and this if you have studied so if you've studied level four five six so you have to study two qualification most of the students that do study less than seven uh, level qualification they study level five and six so that that makes them eligible for for one year uh, work visa or you you could get um, get a level seven um, qualification suppose you, you did a bachelor's degree in your own country you can come to New Zealand and do a graduate diploma uh, um, level seven M might be graduate diploma in business HR management anything so th those are the quite common um, um, graduate uh, work visas so which qualification is not eligible for getting an open work visa so suppose um, a foreign student comes from China or Japan or anywhere from the world to learn English so English certificates and diplomas are not eligible for this um, this type of uh, work visa so basically after completing the English course they have to go back to their own country or apply for a new student visa on a different type of course can you reapply and regain this post-study open work visa again once you you have already been in this visa so you you can get another post-study open work visa if you have done a bachelor's degree or a postgraduate qualification and the qualification you have done is a level more than the previous one so taking into a scenario you have done a level five um five and six or uh, level four and five diploma okay and you get one year work visa then you do a level six diploma that is ineligible to get a work visa so as it states in the condition that you mu you must do a bachelor's degree or a postgraduate qualification then only you will get again this um uh, this work visa so, um, so turning uh, changing the situation you have done level five and six um diploma you get a work visa for one year you work for one year you couldn't find work you again enroll in, in, into the bachelor's degree you get your papers cross credited because level five and six you can cross credit um, your papers if you're doing a spa same specialization uh, and um, you only left the two years of bachelor's degree or one year of bachelor's degree so then you're again eligible for getting another work visa that is post-study open work visa so 30 weeks means one year don't get confused it means one year so if you cross crediting your papers at least you have to complete one year to get again this post-study open work visa so many students don't know about this and that's why I'm going into a really detailed um, uh, post-study open work visa so how long you can work on this um, post-study employer um, post-study open work visa so you can work for one two and three years depending upon to um, your qualification gain you working towards a registration or not depends upon major factors but when the government rolled out this new rules um, they gave time till 31st December 2021 so if so we will if you had a student visa on 8th of August 2018 okay before that so when this rules came out on 8th of August 2018 so the students who came in the July session or the Jan session in 2018 or the 17 one and they're finishing their their, their, their courses doesn't matter it's in it's a level 7 course 
or level 5 and 6 level course or level 8 course they'll be issued a 3 years um, job search visa known as post-study open work visa great news for those students who are already here in New Zealand but if you if you're coming um, after 8th of August 2018 um, make sure you complete your qualification before 2021 because there's a great there's a great offer for you of privileges um, hidden inside so we should start on that so if you started your studies after 8th of August okay then also government is trying to push people away from Auckland because Auckland is too much crowdy so the the immigration system have issued um, a special privileges uh, for the people who study outside of Auckland or compared to in Auckland so we'll we'll see um, the work visa tenure if you're studying inside Auckland so if you do um, level four to six so same as I told you before you have to do two qualification level five and six or four and five um, to get one year work visa okay so if you do level five and six you're getting only one year work visa if you if you do like a, like a level seven qualification you get you get one year of work visa but if you if you're doing a, a qualification like um, graduate diploma in teaching okay that call qualifies you for teacher registration you can get a spare one more year totaling to two years of your post-study open work visa if you do a bachelor's degree or a master's degree or a phd in auckland you get a three year work visa so those those um, are really interesting interesting facts um, so if you study outside of auckland so outside auckland 31st december 2021 that's the date that i was telling you before so if you finish your studies before December 2021, it's not starting. If you if 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 you finish your um, your studies before 2021, you can apply for a two or a three year work visa. So which qualification comes for for two years of tenure of your work visa? Okay, if you complete one or more qualification. Uh, qualification at level four to six so you complete um, level four to six so uh, you do level five diploma or level six diploma you get one year of of, of work visa okay if, if you if you if you do like a graduate diploma um, of uh, level seven suppose graduate diploma in business or graduate diploma in HR or management or or, or anything you get two years of work visa um, so even though you, you might be studying towards a register like a teacher's registration okay you might have done graduate diploma in teaching that qualifies you for the teacher's registration once you complete the two years of work experience okay you will not qualify for an extra one year because you're already getting two years of work visa so good news for those students who are studying like a graduate diploma in management um, level seven um, while if you study that qualification in auckland um, you get one year work visa while you study outside auckland you get two years of of um, work visa same for the bachelor's degree doesn't change anything so if you're studying bachelor's or master's outside of auckland you still get the three year work visa so so post study open work visa there is a special privileges only for till 2021 so you have to finish your studies before that date so even though you're outside Auckland um, and if you don't finish your studies before 31st December 2021 um, your work visa condition would be same as the people studying in Auckland so as I told you before you'd be getting one year two year three year based on your level of study in Auckland so, uh, so it, it's it's very very highly um, topic that you, you that you listen this really carefully. Um, anything wrong uh, will um, 
will uh, incur um, your um, your um, work visa thing into jeopardy. Okay, so listen really carefully. So um, now what I'm showing you is INZ1015 uh, work visa form. The, this work visa form can be used for multiple uh, multiple things. So, but um, we're only looking in this uh, video for a job search open work visa or post study open work visa or post study work visa so basically the same form uh, fill in your name everything um, the check checklist everything are the same um, um, pretty simple form um, if you haven't checked my video how to apply online um, you should check it out I'll give you a description in my description box um, to check it out so everything is, is picture clear if you have any queries or anything that you don't understand in this form uh, please uh, please leave a message in my comment section and I'll, I'll get back to you um, um, and if you if you um, so and the last thing before I finish is what's the fees for this um, for this work visa the fees is 495 New Zealand dollars the processing time is 37 working days and and it's the same fees for the paper-based application so if you apply online or the paper-based it's the same fee uh, in most situations the paper-based fee is more than online but in this instance it's exactly the same i'll give you the link in my description box so you can have a look what's the face uh, for it um, for different type of work visa or any work visa i'll give you a link so stay tuned god bless you all and have a good life i hope you get the the visas that you acquire acquiring um so have a good life thank you